Good evening, my friends, and welcome back to East Shade. Last time out, well, we are tying up loose ends now. We have got two quests left. Apples and a bitter fish before we can go and leave East Shade. Now, the fishing, I have a strong recollection. We have got ourselves a fishing rod, incidentally, right? If we go and have a look at our equipment, here's our fishing pole. No idea how that works. I do remember many, many, many episodes ago, we read a book about fishing that talked about the different kinds of fish. And I have a feeling it was up there. I have a feeling it was in the guest house. Maybe. Maybe not. I mean, there aren't that many places where the fishing book could be, of course. And then we'll see about who's leaving all these apple cores over by the farm. But yeah, I have a vague recollection it's this book here. Fish of the Fellstream River. The scales of the ultramarine merino were once ground to create a deeply pigment used in paint. The fish consume nearly anything aside from fish and have been found to eat plants and even eggs. Well, we have eggs. The moot trout or thunder trout leaps from water at high speeds before crashing back down. It's believed that the fish do this to catch flies, but it's been surmised that they also be engaging in play. When entire hovers of thunder trout do this at once, it creates a rumble that can be felt from land. They prey on ultramarine minnows and prefer to live in river waters. And then the sandfish, of which Old Pox is one, prey on the thunder trout. He's in the Sinkwood Lake. So I think we basically need to bait our hook with anything to go and get one of the minnows, use the minnows to catch the thunderfish, and use the thunderfish to catch old pops. Grab the wedding ring. Jobs are good and now, that said that the thunderfish like rivers. Look at that! Look at that! It's one of the blue foxes! Ah, Adorable. Adorable. Come on. I mean, what's the point of all this inspiration if we're not going to use it to paint gorgeous pictures of little blue fox? Oh my word, they're all around here. Okay. <clears throat> oh, blind, there's loads of them. So, I think... I think the best place to go is going to be down where we have literally seen someone already fishing. Footfall theory, right? It's like, if you see someone who's already doing a thing... Oh, hey, look! Look, you can literally see them. Literally see them bobbing about. Okay. Set bait. Nice. So, what do we do? What do we then do? Fish got away. Was it a nibble? If it was, the fish got away.
Oh, hey, there we go. We've made a catch. A good snack for larger fish. Okay. Oh, no, I clicked it too soon. Well, I tell you what, this egg is doing great. We're ending up with loads of these, uh, with loads of these little fish. Right, okay. So, we've got some fish. Now we need to find... Where can we find the other fish? Now, the book said they enjoy rivers. Well, the best river we've got is the one that we had to cross, right? Like this one over here. <gasps> we have seen, uh, yeah, the, the, the very distinguished gentleman He's fishing here, isn't he? Are you not fishing? No, you're not actually fishing. I don't know. I mean, we could try it out. Seems not to be the spot. Have we seen other people fishing? Whoops. I mean, to be fair, we could certainly just wander back and try yeah I don't know I don't know we'll have a think about that one because there's also this river here it would seem weird that you just literally swap out the fish uh, in the same location so maybe it's this river let's go to the farm first given that I already have the tea to hand yeah we'll go to the farm first now the mystery is who's leaving the apple corn strangest thing after talking to you before I found <laughs> a bunch more apple cores it isn't you eating them is it? No, certainly not. <laughs> Didn't really think so. Seeley never liked apples much. But tastes change. Must have discovered how much she loves them and can't get enough. See you. Okay. So what's the situation then with these apples? And what about his wayward the sky daughter? Is green seas, rolling the sweet summer tide for me. No, she's got nothing to say about the apple cores. Do you think the apple cores make a trail? Shall we follow them? These aren't cores. These are just apples. Oh, hang on. Yep, yeah, there's an apple core. Here's an apple core. They're leading down this path here. <laughs> 
This is like this is like one of those Tom and Jerry cartoons where it's like, oh, hmm, yes. Oh, oh. Someone with a big hole in the bottom of their bag <laughs> as they as they bring these apples around. Wait, is it the guy who claims to have not left his uh, pond in a hundred years or something? Where are we? <gasps> you two! Little apple thieves! <clears throat> um... Please don't tell. I've discovered who is leaving behind apples. Two children lost in the forest. Um... Please don't tell. Okay. Well, I guess let's go back to the farm. And just like... Where exactly even are we? I think we've kind of looped... I think we sort of looped quite a bit there. So yeah, the farm is just over here. Ah, no getting over that wall though. So, if we go and speak then to the farm. Strangest thing. After talking to you before, I found a bunch more apple cores. It isn't you eating them, is it? I found who's Just eating the apples. Just alone in the woods? Are they okay? Take me to them right away. They must be starving. There we go. Good thing we didn't. Good thing we didn't just go and like get on a ship and leave from Lindo, because otherwise these children so would be abandoned after forever. Us until dad comes back. They're so nice. We're sorry for stealing their food before. I don't know. We were fishing in the ocean with my dad. But the waves broke our boat when we got lost in the water. We woke up on a beach, but dad wasn't with us. Ah, he's probably, uh... He's shy. Lost his way, he too. He doesn't talk to anyone except me and dad. Thanks for bringing us here. Mm. Good thing you found those kids. Just living off apples for who knows how long. Oh, really? That's great news. I'll send word to the sheriff in Nava immediately. Well, He'll make I'd sure the message gets that. to their father. <laughs> See you. Like, <laughs> I'd forgotten that. Was a thing, but there we go. Okay, one more, one more quest, one more quest. Can we? Oh no! Oh no! We have no tea, and we have no kettle with which to make more tea. Shoot! I'm foiled by my own hubris. I thought for sure we would not need the kettle. Well, this serves me right. Now I know, now that I have tasted the convenience of fast travel around this map, we shall head to Narva at once and buy at least ten more. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I think the safest thing to do to just avoid, you know, losing my boat and so forth is still to go to this beach, put the boat down, have a little row. Now, old pops definitely in here. It's not beyond the realms of possibility that the thunderfish in there as well. But, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure I'd see it. Now here we 
we go. Every time. Ooh! Every time I was thinking to myself, that's old Pops there, right? That's got to be him. Look at him, he's huge. Can I use. I can use a fish on the thing. No, there's nothing, nothing there, nothing there. We need the thunderfish, and we've already established that yes, you can see the fish. Oh, 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 oh! Now what are these? Oh, these are little fish. These are little fish, right? Aha, ultramarine minnow. As expected. So the ultramarine minnow are not only here. Sorry, they're not only down the river, they're also here. Well, part of me is now thinking, do we try and just row this boat down the river? Like... Well, we're going we're gonna to end up over there, aren't we? Let's go this way. Oh, no, those are all sandfish. Pretty sure. The electric fish are green. Ooh. What are those over there? Are they also sandfish? They don't look quite as big. Let's see. No, they're kind of ignoring it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure the thunderfish we're expecting to be green. And I think we should just sail our boat around a little bit, because clearly we're finding the fish as we sail about. Are those... Is it those? No, those are ultramarine minnows, are they? Now, to be fair, the book did say that they enjoyed rivers, right? Uh, pack that up for me. Every time it's like, oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, you can't jump into there straight away, I am well paranoid that the game's going to bug out and is not going to let me on the boat. Don't know. Irrational fear? Question mark? Is it? I don't know. <laughs> to be fair though, this game hasn't really seemed that buggy so far. It's like it's a little rough around the edges in places, but it's not it's not actually terribly bad at all really. <clears throat> Come on, we are discovering the Thunderfish's layout away from finishing our final quest. Now look at that river down there. Look at that river down there. Do you reckon we can find a good fishing spot down there somewhere? Like, it's a pretty good river, right?
Incidentally, first of all, first of all, let's uh, go and buy some tea. What time is it? 9.41pm. I'm presuming the shops don't open at night. But that's okay. We have a room in the local place. Yeah, do you reckon we could get down there and fish? Maybe. There ain't that re there ain't that many rivers to check. Let's be honest. Yeah. So it's not something we're going to need to look up. We just need to wander around until we find some fish of the right colour. But the actual fishing, well, catching the. The ultramarine minnows has been reasonably okay. What? Actually, I can just buy thunder trout from you. We don't need to catch thunder trout at all. We got money. We're just going to buy fish. Like, that's a way more obvious thing to do. What can I brew Hello, you up? tea seller. Mountain water tea, please. Yeah, give me a few of those. What do you have for sale? Oh, bicycle. Uh, nah, we don't need a bicycle. Right. Well, with that... Fast travel me back. We are... We've got the right bait now. Okay, here we go. Read boat. Coming in. Come on, boat. No! <sighs> okay. Is that a thing? Like... If your read boat ends up out of your reach, the game sort of sends it back in your direction subtly. Incidentally, if the game bugs out by this point and we can't finish the, the we're, we're just going straight to Lindo and getting on getting on a boat. That wedding ring, gone. Gone forever. Right, old Pops, we've seen him. He was over here. He's a lone sandfish, just swimming about on his own. Look, there he is. There he is, you can see him. So, give me my fishing pole. Set that bait there. There we go. Go on, one old pops. Really? No, he was too quick for us. Look, there he is. Whoop. Here we go, here we go, we're gonna get him. Wait, what's 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 the line turning different colours for? I'm assuming it's a bit like Stardew where it's like No, not Stardew. Stardew's got the weird bouncy uh, the bouncy bar. I caught old Pops! He coughed up a ring! I've got the ring now, but should I keep old Pops or toss him back? I tossed old Pops back into the water and he swam away. Ah, oh, we did the wholesome ending. 
Ah, <laughs> oh, excellent. I mean, I guess we could have kept him, but like, nah, but he an old fish. He an old fish. Well, I'm kind of glad that the game didn't give us some sort of horrendous fishing minigame that we needed to complete. Here we go, you ring. found me, my ring traveller? But you <gasps> didn't bring the old Go fish. get a complete every quest. I don't need him, per se. I'm so glad just to be reunited with my wedding ring. Thank you for bringing it back. Here, have a few glowstones. Nice. And thank the great shade you survived. Well, it's hard to be sure, <laughs> but a mean-spirited old fish. You ever hear the tale of how old pups came to be so grumpy? No? Oh, you're in for a treat. Too many people catching him. Well, you see, there was one day old Pops swallowed a bitter frog. So he swallowed this frog, and the taste was so awful, old Pops started thrashing round something terrible. There was a boat nearby, and when old Pops leapt out of the water, he hit it hard. That boat was knocked over, and the captain was real upset. He was yelling and ended up harpooning the giant fish right in the side. I mean, that would also Didn't make him very a angry. Large gash on old Pops? So, anyhow, old Pops has been bitter ever since. Can't believe he survived fetching my ring from him. That old Pops, he's got it out for us all. Great story, bro. <laughs> Great story. <laughs> Okie dokie, my friends. We have finished every quest and even got the achievement for it to boot. All that's left is for us to go back to Lindo and find a boat to leave Eastshade. And that might be the end of the game. I wonder how many people... Hang on, I'm going to quickly tab out. I wonder how many people have got every quest. 9% of players have that achievement. That's fair. Although, I think this game is one of those games that has a very high attrition rate. Because... Yeah, if I look on the global achievements for this game... Landed, so wash up in Ingov's cave, is 94.8% of people have that achievement. The next achievement, literally the next one, only 19% of people have it. So let's see, what do we have? Like, so build your first tent, only 18%, 18 18.6%. Um, yeah. Prolific artist, complete every commission from Yeheveni's art gallery, 11%. Only 13.9% of people made it to the Northern Reaches. So, it seems that... Yeah, it seems that this game has a, has a pretty high attrition rate, to be honest. A lot of people start it, not very many percentage of people finish it. Is that maybe somewhat to be expected? I mean, it's not really a game with a plot. It's just very cosy. It's very... Like, the main plot is the side quests that you do along the way. The real power is the friends we Heading made along the way. Heading back to the, the mainland? Way. Do you already have a ticket or are you looking to buy? Oh, shoot. I just spent a lot of money. Oh, you were on the Annabelle. Oh, okay, good. I'm terribly sorry about mm -hmm. that. Do you wish to board now? You don't have to take this ship. There are many coming through, all going to the mainland. Your ticket is valid for any North Seas shipping vessel. I think we're ready. Once you board, there's no turning back. You'll be mainland bound. 
Are you done with all your business here in East Shade? We've got so. you in the very best room. Go right ahead. Have a nice trip. Lindo gradually receding into the distance. It definitely has its moments this game. Definitely does. There's the Annabelle. Just about see Narva. I actually really like this ending, that it is in real time taking you away from the island. I really like that. I really like that. It's nice. It's kind of poignant. Oh. Oh, we're not done. We're not done. We've got the bursting bubble. I've asked Mud Willow to help me write this letter. I wish I knew your language better. It was so nice to meet you and share my home. I hope you are well wherever you roam. I would love to hear more of the place where you live. Please write back soon if you have time to give. Best wishes to you, my dear Skyfolk friend. That is all for this letter. Goodbye. The end. Alejo. We've got the bursting bubble. Hi there, old pal. Hope you've been well. Business a huge success over here. Couldn't have done it without you. Planning a trip over to the archipelago soon. First flight across the seas. I am hoping you do some promotional work for me. Get folks excited to see the landing. Best wishes to you. Park Ranger, Victor. Greetings. This is the Park Ranger from Shade National Park of East Shade. I don't know if this will get to you. The world is getting so big. I guess it might end up lost, but I figured I'd try. The water foxes here are doing much better now, and we saw loads of them, yeah. They came out of their cave and I found another pack living near the great tree. Lots of people taking new interest in the park and the water foxes, so thank you for helping make that happen. Up at the Kestrel's Eerie, they started selling these little postcards. The water foxes are bringing so many people out to the forest. Thought you might like one. Oh, and that's it there. Well, that's nice, isn't it? Oh, and our paintings. Oh, it's the painting we did. So, presumably, if you finish the game with more paintings, more of your walls will be filled. Oh, that's such a nice touch. Such a nice touch. Dear Virgil, I wanted to thank you for sharing your skills with my daughter, Sanya. She's been busily painting away and our walls are nearly covered with paintings now. She's been teaching other children how to paint as well and hopes to travel one day too. Thank you for sharing your inspiration. 
Dear Virgil, thank you for teaching me how to make canvases. I met another painter and she's teaching me how to make my paintings even better. I hope you had a nice time going home and I hope your new ship didn't sink. Then here we've got, uh, hello again, traveler. I heard you made it back to the mainland. I hope you're doing well. Bo Yan was thinking about the conversations you had, so we thought we'd see how you've been faring. Bo Yan doesn't write much, but he wanted to ask if you've been out rafting lately and whether you've had a chance to eat something called slug cakes. Never had them myself. They must be a wonderful delicacy from your hometown. Wait, what? Why am I now getting a fade to black? That was really confusing. Okay. Virgil, this is the park ranger from National Park in Eastshade. Remember the seeds you recovered for me? I thought they'd be spoiled since they're so old, but they sprouted. The plant is invasive, obviously, so don't go spreading it around. There's a lot of trust he's putting in me there. That's weird. Why did it fade to black like that? I've told the other Roots members about the planned Shea attack. And the warning you gave us. In light of this, we are pleased to crown you an honorary Roots leader. Your honesty and devotion to preserving our traditions deeply appreciated. Please accept this amulet as thanks for the action you took to preserve our community. Dream in peace, the Roots. Do you know what? This reminds me a lot of like the end of Final Fantasy VIII, where you see what happened to all of the members of the cast after the ends of the events of the game so wholesome. Virgil, I doubt you remember, but we met in my tower after you boorishly intruded in the middle of the night. After leaving Eastshade, I came to the Shellian Archipelago and learned that you reside here as well. In my time here, I've had the chance to read the book you mentioned, the one praising my work, and I've met some local architects as well. I'm not sure you'd call them friends, but we do spend time speaking about buildings and other high arts. In any case, and for reasons somewhat beyond me, one of them has fallen in love with the painting you've done of Lindau. They would like to request you paint their work at your convenience. Perhaps I will see you again soon. Azad. Dear Virgil, Kai and I wanted to apologise for the way you saw us. It was a low point to say the least, but thanks to you we've managed to turn our lives around. There's nothing we could offer to repay you, but I hope you'll accept these treats as our many thanks. Kaylin and Kai... K and K apothecary. And it looks like that's everyone who's written to us. Isn't that nice? I think that's everything. I did like that painting. That was a particularly that was a particular favourite of mine. Time to leave, I think. I presume we're now going to get a credits roll. No. No credits roll. Interesting. Oh, wow. In right. The credits literally are clickable credits. Oh, and it includes everyone... It includes everyone's website and their Twitter handles as well. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? That is such a unique way to do the credits. For sure. Interesting. Phoenix Glen Dining. Phoenix Glen Dining is the one who did the music. The music was absolutely excellent. Well, my friends, that's going to wrap us up for the final episode of East Shade. What did we think of it? I mean, it's a it's a pretty unique game. I'm glad we played it. It's very cozy. Um, you know, it's really interesting. It's like if you took Skyrim, removed the combat, removed the plot, just had the side quests right that is sort of how it feels and when you really boil it down to it all of the side quests are either 
go and find me a thing and bring it back to me. Or go and find a thing, paint a picture of it and bring the picture back to me. So yes, if you boil it down to its... Uh, to its... <laughs> what would you call it? Syllogistic form. Um, it's... A very thin premise. But that's not what this game's about. The game's about the vibe. The music is great. The setting is great. Um, it's just a really wholesome experience. I really like the ending. I really like the boat taking you away. I really like the fact that everyone you've interacted with writes you letters at the end, letting you know how you've done it. It makes you feel like you've had an impact on the world. There are obviously weaknesses to the game, right? I mean, this is a fairly recent game. It's like 2018 or something. It's very rough around the edges in terms of some of the animations and so on. Obviously, some of the textures um, are a little bit... Mm, um, it feels a bit buggy in places, you know? Like, oh man, every time we put that reed boat down, I was absolutely paranoid we were going to lose it. And then... <laughs> and then what are you even going to do? You need to find the pieces to make another reed boat. <laughs> Thankfully that didn't happen. Uh, we managed to complete everything in the journal. And uh, and overall, yeah, I'm, I'm glad we played that. Is it going to make my top five games of the year? Probably not. Probably not. I don't think this game is one of those ones that will really change your life or change your perception on things. But it's a nice game. It's a nice, wholesome cozy game well my friends if you enjoyed this series please do hit that like button and consider hitting that subscribe button if you liked this playthrough you could also choose to support the channel by clicking that super thanks down in the bottom of the video for me though that's going to wrap it up for east shade i will see you soon and we're going to play something different bye for now